Hey, hey, one of the most crucial aspects of your computer's overall performance is its cooling system. Your computer's overall performance and lifespan may be significantly impacted by the sort of cooling system you select. Computer cooling systems can be divided into two categories, liquid cooling and air cooling. While liquid cooling systems use liquid to transport heat away from your computer's components, air cooling systems employ fans to move air around the parts of your computer. However, how do we choose the best option? We attempt to provide an answer by examining the key distinctions between liquid cooling and air cooling in terms of performance, overclocking potential, and aesthetics. PC enthusiasts want maximum performance from any machine, whether cheap or costly. Eye-catching aesthetics let builders express themselves through their creations. PC enthusiasts and eSports systems love clear side panels. A cooler's performance and appearance are important. AIOs, a pump attached to a radiator and fans, have this advantage over bulk air coolers. RGB-enabled CPU liquid coolers help turn your PC into a high-performing work of art. This includes GPU cooling which is becoming a matter of pride thanks to horizontal mounting brackets in some PC chassis. Hey, we intend to provide you with quality videos that are actually useful, but for us to do so, we need your help. Why not go ahead and like and subscribe to this video? It takes two seconds, doesn't cost you a thing, and helps us bring you more quality content like this one. Properly cooling CPU and GPU processors can sustain decent clock rates virtually indefinitely while more aggressive cooling means more overclocking headroom. Adequate cooling prevents CPU and GPU throttling. Throttling reduces a processor's clock speed to reduce heat. It hinders professional productivity and gamer immersion. Working and playing on a PC requires appropriate cooling. Liquid cooling outperforms air cooling here. Water cooling can delay the ramp-up of case fans, resulting in an even heat curve and quieter computing. Liquid cooling prevents CPU throttling caused by air cooling heat spikes. Heat sinks and fans are best for those with limited finances. Air cooling is cheaper and provides more cooling per dollar. Air cooling, however, does have its limitations. Overclocking isn't allowed. Large, hefty air coolers make accessing CPU components difficult. The increased weight can bend and distort motherboards. Sealed loop liquid cooling is a simple, elegant, and easy-to-use approach to draw heat away from the die and into the radiator. Radiator fans help maintain case temperatures by removing heat. This helps liquid cooling dissipate heat and reduces temperature spikes. Plus, the fan curve is steadier than with air cooling, reducing fan noise. Liquid cooler radiators can disperse more heat than air coolers. The radiator's bigger surface area means it can remove more heat from the casing. Liquid cooling's radiator can be positioned to optimally exhaust hot air from the case. Compared to air cooling, liquid cooling provides a consistent flow of heat dissipation and an efficient way to evacuate surplus heat. Liquid cooling AIOs, a pump attached to a radiator and fans, are more appealing to enthusiasts and gamers than air coolers, since the CPU socket is seen through the case window. When comparing a liquid-cooled system to one that uses air cooling, it is obvious that liquid cooling is the more effective, quieter option that prevents computer overheating despite overclocking or other kinds of computational load. Here are our top three recommended air cooling fans for the best possible results on any budget. The Cooler Master Master Air MA624 Stealth Cooler Master's Master Air MA624 Stealth is an excellent option in the large heat pipe cooler arena, an effective near-silent solution for some of the most potent desktop CPUs from both Intel and AMD. This cooler comes with a third 120mm fan to use when tall memory modules create clearance problems. Next up is the Deepcool Assassin 3. Deepcool's AK500 is an excellent alternative for those who don't have the room or budget for a true big air cooler. It punches above its cooling class, delivering excellent temps for its $60 manufacturer's suggested retail price, but at the moment, it's still tough to find for major sellers in the US. Last up for the air coolers is the Zalman CNPS 10X Performa Black. The Zalman CNPS 10X Performa Black is a mid-sized quad heat pipe cooler with a jet black appearance and a single ultra-quiet 135mm fan. Its $45 price tag and cooling capacity place it in a strong position to be a system builder favorite. 
Zalman has provided the system building community with a great no frills cooling solution. As for our recommended liquid coolers, first up we have the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML 360 RRGB. Cooler Master's Master Liquid ML 360 RRGB increases radiator surface area by 33% for even more cooling power. It even outperforms the mighty NZXT Kraken X72 in terms of cooling. Power users, gamers, system builders, and overclockers looking for a new large CPU cooler should keep this in mind. There are plenty of competing products that are more expensive than $160. Our silver medal for liquid cooling goes to the AlphaCool IceBear Pro Aurora 360. The AlphaCool IceBear Pro Aurora 360 has a full cover CPU block that is large enough to completely cover the AMD Threadripper's large surface area. A powerful fast flowing pump with a built in reservoir is also included, as is an all copper radiator. It is more expensive than some other options, but it provides hands down the best cooling potential. Finally, we have the MSI MEG Core Liquid S360. The MSI MEG Core Liquid S360 provides excellent cooling performance, quieter cooling fans, and an excellent implementation of a user-friendly MSI Center UI. It also has a brilliant display above your CPU that can show system performance statistics or your favorite photo or animated GIF. It's a premium cooler at $280, but MSI backs it up with some serious performance chops. We hope this video helped you get to grips with the differences between air cooling and liquid cooling for your PC. We hope so. There are such an incredible amount of coolers out there, and if you feel that we left your favorite one off of our list, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ciao!